As full-time eBay sellers, Monday morning can be probably one of the busiest days, so I figured I'd take you guys behind the scenes to show you what I'm shipping out to give you guys an idea of what's selling the best for me. So I'm gonna strap this to my chest and we're gonna get to work. Since I do all of my cleaning and photography and listing at home, the first thing I do every day when I get to the storage unit is I need to put up everything that I have listed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that knocked out. As you can see, they are they have little paper clips on them or what are these called? Clothespins that have a skew that is referring to a specific number specific shelf specific area in the storage unit not quite as efficient as miss carly over here I'm so efficient, guys. just got everything in complete order she you know i just can't keep up this might be a really dark video today that's okay and why I don't, because i'm in a negative mood yeah i was gonna say because it's a very somber day no it's just no light at the storage unit i'm sorry guys Since we're on the A shelf, I guess I can show you guys how this works. So as you can see, this clip says A37. This is the first shelf. Shelf, show it, so show, show, show it's the A shelf. And three means we're three down. So we got one, two, three, and then it's the seventh slot on the row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that's how I keep track of the inventory. You'll see, eh, you'll see how this comes in handy when we start pulling the orders to actually ship them here in a minute. Another pair that actually already sold, so I'm gonna sit these off to the side. And then I've got these boxes of shoes, and I really don't have a very convenient place to store boxes. I haven't even finished building out the shelves that are ready to go up over here, so just kind of leaving boxes over here in Carly's way. Everything's in my way. Yeah. Now, as I mentioned, when I'm pulling orders, they are going on this shelf here. I don't always wear this little bracelet right here, but I feel like it's gonna be easiest, the easiest way to like show you guys how my pulling orders works. As you can see on this top, sale right here there's a custom label that says f21 so as i mentioned with the uh, the a example over here we're just going to go to f sh the f shelf and we're going to find shelf two slot one and that should be the shoes that we're looking for so then we're going to pull everything put them on this shelf and then at the at the end we'll match all the labels up with them and shipping should be a breeze and breeze. a breeze and luckily carly is usually done by then so she can make all the boxes for me Every day you see those stacks of boxes, guess who put them together? Boo. Were you gonna high five me? I'm so sorry. Boo. I got a return request. Uh oh. Oh, this is a lady I already talked to. So there was a pair of Ultras that apparently had two different insoles in them, but I didn't know that they were different insoles when oh. I bought them. So they- I guess that would be an issue maybe. They'd feel different maybe. I guess, but I already knew that that return request was coming. So I guess that's not the biggest deal. I so. also had a return request today. And yours was an it's, international Yeah, show. it was an international, but I missed a vlog, so I just yeah. refunded. But he made me put on returns. I had no returns on on eBay, and I get a lot more sales since I have returns on. And it's just a part of business. It's part of business. Turn the returns on, get more sales. Try not to take it personally. <laughs> So as you can see, those Pumas, they sold for $39, but this page doesn't show uh, coupons. I think they used a 10% off coupon on that, so that would be like a $35 sale, plus shipping. Everything on here is plus shipping. So next up, we got a repeat buyer. I believe that this is Mimi Ketchum. I'm really not sure. Um, if, if you're watching this and you purchased this, um, I appreciate it, but I'm going to go ahead and find that one. J13.4. So there these are. And since that one was a potential viewer sale, I wanted to mention, uh, for the longest time, I never put my eBay store in the description below because a lot of you guys aren't shopping. You're just kind of looking to see like how I put listings together and eBay's algorithm is super picky in terms of if that happens, I'll have a ton of impressions and not a ton of sales. So they might think that my listings aren't very good. So I'm testing out I mean, I can't really test because there's not really turning back. For, but for the time being, I'm putting my eBay store down in the description below. So if you guys want to go shop and pick up some shoes, that would be awesome. Uh, just, you know, try not to look at my listings too much if you're not buying, right? No creeping. <laughs> yeah, I've, I mean, since I've started putting it in the description, my impressions have gone way up, but my um, conversion rate and my click-through rate, I think, have gone down. So... I don't know. We're going to see if you guys can come through with some sales or not. So eBay link down in the description. If you guys buy something, make sure to let me know in like the note on the purchase. So I can give you guys a shout out in the video. If I happen to be recording. That. 
So as I was editing this, I wanted to hop on here and let you guys know another great way to purchase shoes for me if you'd like to is tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I am doing a whatnot show. I'm gonna start a bunch of this stuff under market value, including these Nike Air Jordan 1 hairs from 2015. I'm gonna start these off at one dollar for you guys and if you haven't signed up for whatnot yet and you go through the link in the description of this video you'll get a ten dollar credit and if you don't see any shoes that you like in the show tomorrow i do have both my large and small shoe trees available for ten dollars each so if you sign up using that link in the description you'll get one of those for free you just got to pay shipping again tomorrow at 1 p.m eastern and i will be doing a lot more shows moving forward so go make sure and follow me over there and let's get back to the video i have to wait for pauses in his video all right so as you can see um i have a pair of shoes that are brand new in the box that's sold uh luckily i don't have a ton over here right now but i think it's one of these if any of you guys are in the Orlando area and you want to come put some shelves together, uh, that would be much appreciated. I hate putting shelves together. I only need a little bit done. They got them right there in the box. I just, I'm just lazy. These Nike Air Max SCs, uh, this was an outlet purchase. I think I paid 35 for these. They sold for 69 plus shipping. I think they also used a 10% off coupon on that. So that was like 62 plus shipping. Let's sit that down there for now. HO305. Oof. I don't know if that's going to fit in a potted fly, right? B64. It's another brand that I don't sell a whole lot of just because I don't see a whole lot of it. The brand is Magnani, if you can see that. These sold for 65 plus shipping. The buyer's in Australia, so they paid $52 to have these shipped. Um, these are Magnani for Neiman Marcus. I think that's like a lower end of their like a lower tier line on their um products i recently sold a pair of i think they were monk strap magnanis that sold for like 110 so that's definitely a really good bolo to keep an eye out for these new balances went for 41 dollars plus shipping those ultras right there those were 39 plus shipping um, again, I believe that was a 10% discount. Those were only $5. Drew, if you're watching this, these were at the thrift store that's right next to your house and you let them go down to half off and I scooped them. I guess I can kind of read these off as I go. I keep forgetting to do that. I'm not used to recording while I am pulling orders, but these Converse Jack Purcells sold for $40 plus shipping. I sold these Vans. These sat for a really long time. Sometimes Vans do that. Like They're really popular, but sometimes the listings just... Are, are flooded with this very basic model. Carly needs to do some tape, <laughs> but these sold for 25 plus shipping. Uh, the New Balance 696s, these right here went for 41.65 plus shipping. This is another, just a classic New Balance model that always sells really fast. I got a bundle, some, the same person purchased these Metcons, these Windflows, and I think they had one other, um, but those went for, both of those went for 41.65. I think I just sent out offers, so everything that where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, sorry. This one went for 33.15. I think I just sent 15% off offers on those, and that's why those numbers are a little weird. E13. All right. These Ah Ah New. I don't know how to properly pronounce this, but these Ah Nus sold for 79 plus shipping. I think I paid 25 for these at Goodwill, but they were in like excellent condition. And as you see, that sale price definitely justifies paying up for them. There's the last one in that three pair bundle. These Under Armour hovers, hover, H-O-V-R, at H-11-4. These guys went for 39 plus shipping. Don't get a lot of bundles on eBay, so it's nice to see a nice little three pair bundle ski. Are you done? Yep. Wow. And I got I-7-5 on these Nike free runs. These sold for 49 plus shipping. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. G42, those are the vans that we brought with us. D82, these Janoskis. Where are we at? These were in kind of rough condition. They weren't, weren't terrible, but definitely not in perfect condition. These went for $30 plus shipping. Got some Nike Free 5.0s with these, I don't know what kind of colorway you'd call that, like Galaxy colorway almost. I don't know. These also went for 30 plus shipping. Then we got some Piccolinos. This was another one that sat for quite a while. These went for 29 plus shipping as well. Where are they at? G3. 
Bingo. I guess they didn't, they didn't sit too long. Last time I picked up a pair of pic Piccolinos. Didn't you pick a pair up for me? That sold like instantly? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those sold really quick. Those ones sat for probably a month and a half maybe. So not the fastest sale. Bingo. Got these Crocs Swift Water sandals. These went for 29 plus shipping. A pair of Converse going out. Where are they at? These are like the Lunar Lawn Chuck Taylor 2 high tops. Just a classic red color. They went for 30 plus shipping as well. And then as for the shipping, on most shoes, like standard shoes, they're in between like the one to three pound range. I charged $9.99 shipping. But if we see something that's like first class, anything that weighs less than a pound, I don't think I see one right here. But anything that weighs less than a pound, I charge $6.99. And then anything heavy, like a pair of boots, those will be $14.99 shipping. And then another pair of just regular Nike free RNs. These went for $30.00 plus shipping we just got a couple more these Birkenstock boots sold for $84.15 plus that $15 shipping that I just mentioned I actually picked these up um, for $50 at a Plato's closet but I overlooked this little flaw as you can see the I don't know what you'd call that like the lace loop is missing but even in this condition the buyer I can tell the buyer saw the picture and read the description because they mentioned it in their notes but even in this condition, they still sold for $84.15. So not a lot of profit, just, you know, happy to make some profit on that, even though I overlooked that flaw. That wraps up the eBay sales. So we're going to go over to Poshmark. And Poshmark, if you are watching this somehow, can you please put a SKU right here so I don't have to click on each one of them every single time I want to find the SKU for what I'm looking for? Anyway, first pair are these Healy, Healy's High Tops. They sold for $31. Healy's, $31. This brand has kind of died off a little bit, for being honest. Like, I, it's hard for me to move Healy's, so I'm only really picking them up if they're, like, in adult sizes or if they're, like, high tops or they have something else going on that's against the normal Healy's that you're seeing all the time. Next pair is these Adidas Gazelles, just the classic Adidas model. These went for $31. Got some Nurse Mates. These are on H98, where are we at? These sold for $33, dollar, dollar roomies. Got a pair of Sorel women's Chelsea boots. These went for $47. And then I think the next one is probably the highest sale price of anything we're shipping today, if I'm... It's these Nike Dunk Hidden Wedges. If you saw the video where we found the Jordan 1's up there. This is another pair of the shoes that we found in that video. These went for $134 on Poshmark. Sold pretty quickly, too. Then we got a pair of Nike Flyknit Lunar 1's. These went for $32. Got another pair of Vans. These are Vans Fillmore's in a men's size 8. They went for $39. That was a full price Vans sale. Doesn't really happen very often, so cool to see that. Next, we got this pair of Cushy, C-U-S-H-E. Don't know if that's the proper way to pronounce it, but these little slippers sold for $31. And I sent out offers on Poshmark and surprisingly sold several pairs of Toms. Are you okay? You need help? No, I got it. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I got several pairs of Toms going out. First one are these, are these flannel flats. These went for $23. Toms are definitely not a high dollar seller, but they are typically priced pretty low at thrift stores. So if you can find them low enough and it's got a cool design, I'll still pick them up. Next, I got these Vans Skate Highs. They sold for, where's that at? $28. Here's the next pair of Toms. We've got, oh, past them. These have got a really cool like Aztec print on them. They're like embroidered. They went for $28, which is honestly like a higher price for Toms. And then last, I believe last pair of Toms that are going out. This is not a political statement, but we sold these Republican elephant Toms for $20. This is not a political statement. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this is my first time selling this brand and I kind of picked it up on a whim because I didn't have service at the store I was shopping at. Um, and after doing research at home, they had the this exact same shoe on their website for like $29 free shipping.
but I somehow still managed to sell it for $23 plus shipping on Poshmark. So I think I paid like $7 for them. So it still made a little bit of money, but I don't know that I would pick that brand up in the future. It was Stahikum. And then I believe this is the last Poshmark sale. I got another pair of Converse. These were in uh, not the greatest condition again. So we got a lower dollar amount on them. They are, where are they at? I-9-8. They're just a classic low top black canvas sold for $20 on Poshmark. So we've got 37 going out on a Monday. Wow. Not bad, not too bad. How many did you ship today? I didn't count. You didn't count? I, think I had 11 Poshmark and one Etsy. 11 Poshmark, one Etsy, let's go. Also, I brought my Rolo and my scale home to, sh to film that shipping video that I posted recently. And I haven't brought it back, so I've just been printing at home and bringing the labels with me. Uh, not what I normally do, but you know, I'll, I'll get it back here eventually. But that being said, I just need to match all the labels with these, and then we are ready to start packaging up. Carly's probably gonna start making some boxes here shortly. When I can make tape noise again. <laughs> so, Carly picked up this. Um, Max, Mara. Max Mara jacket for $30 at Goodwill. It's new with tags. What'd you list this at? Okay, well, the retail price? Yep. $806. $806 retail, but we, as we know, that doesn't equate right. to resell. So I listed it at $450 mm -hmm. because, like, comps are all over the place for Max Mara puffer jackets, and I couldn't find the exact one. Listed at $450, immediately got a Poshmark offer for $300, countered at $399, and she declined. But you were getting a bunch of interest. Like, yeah, I have like likes on Poshmark and watchers on eBay already, and I just listed it last week. And you th you were thinking. But I only paid thirty, so now yeah. I'm like I should have taken. Yeah, but like you also um, think that she was probably a reseller. Yeah, based on like her profile, she looked like a reseller. She, so she might have been reselling this to try to get like a fifty dollar or hundred dollar profit yeah. or whatever. Um, but it's really cute. So what would you guys do? Would you have accepted that $300 well, offer? I can't accept it now. I know, but what would you do? I told her that it's okay to, I thought it was okay to counter because this isn't, that's something that she can just go thrift another one of. Right. Like she's, this is probably the only one available right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, she's got the only one available right now. So like when the right buyer comes, she can probably get a full price sale or more than 300. See like, but the issue is I'm usually like a quick flip person. Yeah. So, but that is different than anything I've ever yeah, picked up. So. Yeah, most of the stuff is, purposely quick flip stuff yeah. but this is something we could hold out for a higher price in my opinion yeah. but you know yeah, well, we'll see we'll see if you watch my youtube videos you saw it last week it's all whenever i don't know when this video is going up but yeah. you saw it in my crazy good will find video yep or if you're just like you see this jacket and you're like wow that's a really nice jacket i'd like to buy that for 450 dollars go check out that's carly's ebay store like, that's like a 50 discount that's half off retail yeah and it's sold out yep you can't just go buy that <laughs> I've been recording for 49 minutes. My chest is getting really hot. I feel like Iron Man. You look like Iron Man. You smell like Iron Man. I bet you smell pretty good. <laughs> Probably not inside that suit. I bet it gets pretty sweaty. You know what time it is? Picture time. Corny package picture time. Woo! Woo! So if you're watching this and you're a reseller and you got packages going out on Mondays, I don't care if it's one package, two, it doesn't even have to be a Monday. It doesn't. Just whenever you want. One package, two package, or 30 packages. Post on Instagram or wherever you want to. Hashtag corny package picture, tag me, and I'd love to see you guys' success that you're having. What about you, Carly? I want to see it. She wants to see it. Do it for Carly. <laughs> So now we just got to get these all dropped off at the post office. So I might see you there or I'll see you guys at home. Also, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Christy Nesbitt and Janet Myers. I got two shoe tree orders going out. Thank you guys so much for purchasing shoe trees over the weekend. Again, if you want to buy those, link in bio or description maybe. So now that we got shipping done, it's time to see if we can't get 20 pairs of shoes prepped and photographed so I can get those listed tonight. Uh, I'm gonna work on this top bin. I think there should be around like 20 pairs in here. I'm gonna get these all cleaned up, moved over to this rack, and then ready for photos. So that's what is on the agenda for right now.
So I know a lot of you guys don't pick up shoes because you don't like the cleaning process. And those of you who do pick up shoes, I'm sure that you can agree that the cleaning process is the worst or most boring part of the entire job. Um, but that is why it is so important to pick up shoes that don't need much cleaning. I just got 20 pairs knocked out in 36 minutes. So that was less than two minutes per pair. And a lot of that was just covering the price on the bottom or wiping the price off the bottom and then pulling stickers off and then just doing some light touch-ups on the bottoms of the shoes. If you're picking up shoes that don't need a lot of cleaning, the cleaning is not really that bad. It was only 36 minutes to, to prep 20 listings, which is plenty to sustain a full-time, as long as you're picking up good stuff. 20 a day is a great number to sustain a full-time income from. So in 36 minutes, I got those prepped and I could probably get them photographed in even less time than that. So that's what is next. All right, so the shoes ended up taking 19 minutes to get photographed, so that was a little less than a minute per pair, which is a really good time. If you get anything out of this video, if you wanna get an inspiration for any part of your business, if that makes sense, um, definitely try to figure out ways to make your business go a little faster, get the workday done a little sooner. If you've been following me for a while, that's I talk about that a lot. Just try to get all of your work done as quick as possible so you can go enjoy the rest of your life because like, at the end of the day, we're not meant to just list on eBay. I had a good talk with uh, Bo Johnson. He did a little four, 15 minute interview on, on his channel. Um, I'll drop a link to that down in the description where um, that was brought up and that's a very solid point. Like we're not, we're not, we don't exist to just work on our eBay business. But if that brings you happiness, then by all means go for it. But I like to get done as fast as possible. Now that these photos are all taken, I will get these listed first thing tomorrow morning. And then I will basically just start the process over again. This is what a normal um, work day, I guess you could say, looks like for me. So if you wanna see some more of these behind the scenes, like real life videos, I'm gonna throw a little thumbnail up here. You guys can click on that video and it's gonna take you to another day in the life video that I posted in the past.